Alright guys, so before we hop into today's video, I just want to quickly ask you guys if you could smash 100 likes on today's video. You guys have been absolutely killing it on my previous video guys, thank you guys so much. But before we get into today's video, I just want to quickly have a little disclaimer here saying that I do not have a gameplay of the things I'm about to say. This is simply a guide of what to do once the patch is released. Now these are proven to be true in all ways, how to get the 400 light the most efficient way. Now all these steps are going to be different depending on your light level. We're going to be starting at 385 light here. Now you can do anything to get to 385 light, but things do start to cap up once you hit that stage. And what you're going to want to do is going to be really time efficient and basically you're going to want to be doing the right things in order to get the 400 as fast as possible. And that's what I'm going to be clearing up in this video for you guys. So starting it off, you're going to want to decrypt legendary engrams. They do cap at 385, but you have a small chance at getting an exotic drop, so that's also really well. Uh, like I said before, these have just been raised up to cap at 385. They used to be at 365, but since the patch came out, now they do drop at 385, so be sure to pick them up as much as you can. Now this is number one because you don't want to have any problems with the vault space or whatnot. You can just de simply decrypt them and infuse them right away, so there's no worry about that or inventory space. So once you hit 385, you're gonna wanna focus on your factions, including Eris. Mind you, that's a really good faction for artifacts. Factions, at the moment tend to cap it seems to be this is basically an assumption based on the bungee armory that the factions do cap at 390 so once you hit 390 you're gonna want to move over to exotic engrams until you're about 393 light or so because you don't want to be spending all your time on exotic engrams at this point so basically you're gonna want to decrypt engrams till you're 385 once you get to 385 you're gonna want to run your factions and just farm your factions until you can hit 390 because that's basically the, that's the cap for factions once you hit 390, exotic engrams tend to be the way to go until 393. Now, you can do all this at the same time, but to get to 393, you could do exotic engrams right up until 393. You don't have to do the factions. This is just little steps I'm telling you guys to do. Now, this next step I'm going to be telling you guys can be done a lot, a lot sooner if a ghost and an artifact are holding you back on your light. So, you know, get skeleton keys, you can do Archon's Force to get your artifact, and go to about 394 and 395. Basically, once you do those two things and like getting your skeleton keys and Archon's Forge, you should be at 395 by now, around 394. And then go farm more exotic engrams, or if you've been saving them up, use them at this point until you are 396, because once you get that 396 mark, it is big. Because right at this part, you're going to want to use the skeleton keys and go back to Archon's Forge. Do the Nightfalls, use the Shacks weekly bounties and or the Trials bounties. So once you do all those weekly things, you should hopefully at this point be at 397 and 398 light. And the only last remaining thing to do, once again, is decrypt exotics. Now you don't have to do any of these things I just little listed. This is just little steps. I'm telling you guys of what things cap out at what light level which would be the most efficient time to grind for faction gear and armor, getting to 390. Now you could do your legendary and grab still 385 and then just simply PvP grind it out and just use three of coins in every crucible map you want and get exotic engrams until you're 400 light. That is an option, but I'm just saying if you want to have an equal playing field throughout everything and be able to grind everything in this new patch efficiently, follow the steps I just told you guys. You guys should have no problem with it. Other than that, guys, if you guys have any other little tips and tricks, leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear. And it's been Sporno, guys, and take care.